Hi guys, it is uh, a lovely Wednesday, October 16, 2013. I have now been in this trailer for 24 hours without leaving this trailer. And uh, as I mentioned earlier on a rant about Snopes.com, I was doing a a story about lemmings jumping over a cliff and so I went to Snopes.com they had no problem answering the question do lemmings really jump off cliffs and the answer to that question was no so I did a rant on that but I'm back on Snopes.com because I really uh, wanted to put in the two biggest obvious urban myths, rumors, whatever you want to call them, uh, to see what Snopes.com has to say. Welcome to Snopes.com, the definitive internet reference source for urban legends, folklore, myths, rumors, and misinformation. Use the search box above to locate your item of interest or click one of the icons below to we're gonna to get to this in a minute. okay we are going to use the search box so my item of interest being a conspiracy factist with two eyes and a brain I realize that chemtrails are real. Chemtrails are, you know, one of the biggest, uh, in, in my opinion, true urban legends, true pieces of folklore, true myths, and true rumors. And they are not misinformation, they are information. So, I'm, I'm quite sure on YouTube, if you put in chemtrails, you would get thousands and thousands of hits. Of course, if you just Googled chemtrails, you would probably get millions. But I want the definitive internet reference source to tell me, uh, to educate me about chemtrails. So we're going to put it in and go. And what comes up? Okay, they're searching their data bank. Sorry, no matches were found containing the term chemtrails. Snopes.com has never heard about, apparently, one of the single biggest urban legends on the internet and let's see so uh they so i was gonna put in next was 9 11 an inside job again i am a conspiracy factist i have a brain I have taken the time out of my life with my 148 IQ, my five years of college, and uh, my degree in journalism to do the investigative uh, digging around necessary to convince me that 9-11 was in fact an inside job. But I guess they have an entire page on 9-11 and uh, so I went on the page which is not a page about 9-11 it is their rumors of war page where they go through about I don't know I didn't count how many of these when you click on the page 9-11 uh, you get Oh, I'm guessing about 100 rumors of war. Never, never, ever on the 9-11 page do you get answered 
the question, was 9-11 an inside job? Okay, so we're going to put it in. Search, was 9-11 an inside job? Since that question was never answered on their 9-11 page, let me ask the question directly. Go. So, here is the answer that Snopes.com that maybe one of these, they suggest I look at one of these stories to find one of the, the answer to probably the single biggest, whether or not it is an urban myth or a rumor, uh, these are three places they uh, suggest I look. Number one, cat rescued from garbage disposal. Hilarious story of attempt to rescue a cat from a garbage disposal. That's that maybe I can find the answer to the question was 9-11 an inside job there. Choice number two they have referred me to on the Klingerman virus. Is someone sending sponges carrying the Klingerman virus through the mail? And maybe I can find was 9-11 an inside job there. And their third place they suggest I look for the question to my answer is, will coughing during a heart attack save your life? And there you go, guys. That is what Snopes.com, the Internet's biggest source for information on rumors and urban myths on the Internet, has to say about perhaps the two biggest conspiracy facts, conspiracy facts on the planet. Uh, so much for Snopes.com. Calm, but they did help me out on the lemmings. Bye, guys.